Hello world. You know what? Actually, I'm sick of saying that. Today I'm going to say hello friends. So here we go. Hello friends. Because that's what you guys are to me. You're not viewers. You're not subscribers. You're not fans. You're just my friends. To give me support makes you my friend. And that's how it's going to stay. Alright guys? Now, I mentioned last week that you guys can contact me whenever you want. I've noticed maybe three people doing it so far. And that's great. I'm glad to see that people are trying to reach me to help them. But if you guys need help, you've got to contact me. I could help you. No matter how little it may seem, I could still help you at least a little bit. Like, even that much could save your life, right? Alright, so let's start this week's episode. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off this way. Showering or taking a bath? It sounds pretty controversial, but let's be honest. You relax. It helps you think in a calm manner. When you're in the shower, you like to sing. That relaxes you. When you're taking a bath, you're thinking about life, what you want to do next. But you're thinking positively because the cold, like just the, sometimes it could be cold water or warm water, depends on your personality, makes you relax. But yeah, try taking a shower, try taking a bath whenever you're depressed, angry, having some kind of weird OCD that relates to something that would be affected by this. If you have anxiety, this could help you also because it does help you relax. But yeah, shower or bathing. Next, let's say drink a cup of cold water. Because when you drink a cup of cold water, it cools you down. Not only physically, but also emotionally and rationally. It helps you relax. So yeah, cold water is definitely a plus in any situation. Now, I suggest getting some hobbies because basically you want to be busy if you're relaxing and you're just overthinking things you're gonna be getting depressed again so I want you guys to get hobbies where you're busy focusing on the hobby like gardening focus on some plants I'm personally growing some dragon fruit it's a cactus that is extremely difficult for me to freaking make grow but it's also one of the healthiest foods known to man. I consider a dragon fruit a miracle fruit because of all of its uses. But yeah, gardening, guys. Sure, you're going to get down and dirty, but it's worth it. It helps you calm down. It helps you relax, think rationally. And in the end, it's fun because you get to either look at the flowers you plant or eat the fruits that you grow, fruits and vegetables that you grow. So it's definitely something that's worth doing, guys. Try it, please. Now, another hobby you guys could do is drawing, because I do sketch things once in a while, but I suck at drawing when it comes to anything that is supposed to be living, or a gun. I can't draw guns, or living people, animals, whatever it may be. But I'm amazing at drawing weaponry, such as swords, throwing stars, throwing knives, bow and arrow, whatever it may be. I could draw those in perfect detail. So maybe you guys could draw something better than me. You know, because I started drawing people and anything that's alive. So maybe you guys are good at that. I can't draw cars. A lot of people can. Shoes, same situation. But yeah, drawing is going to help you also. So just a decent hobby, gardening, drawing, whatever it may be. Now, this is something that I don't like to use too often, but it does work for some people. Watch some TV. Not anything, though. Don't be watching something that's going to make you depressed. Watch some relaxing TV. Like, watch a comedy. Don't watch a drama, because if you start crying, it's going to make you think about your own life. And that's just going to make you more depressed. Come on, guys. Let's just see what we could do. All right? So, basically, try to watch comedies or action movies, whatever it may be, as long as it's something that's not going to trigger anything. 
we're trying to avoid your triggers. If you could avoid your triggers long enough, eventually they will start to dissipate. And I believe you guys will eventually have cured. Let me let me re-say that. Cured your issue. Whether it be depression, anxiety, OCD, uh, boredom, whatever it is. But yeah, that's about it for this week, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, friends.